So in KOF 2002 UM, you walk by pressing forward and you walk back by pressing back. Each character will have their own walk speed, both uh, forward and backward, and they will all have uh, different speeds. <coughs> so for example, Kyo would not walk forward uh, uh, as fast as uh, Chang or better. Chang would not walk as slow. It <laughs> will we'll walk slower than Q. Um, you can crouch, right? And crouching, of course, lowers your uh, hurt box, and some of the some of the buttons uh, will uh, will whiff on crouching opponents. This is especially true for characters that are considered uh, tiny in this game, uh, namely Chen, uh, Bao, and uh, Choi. Probably some other characters as well, but those are the main three. In uh, KOF 2002 UM, you can run as all, well not all, but all the other games, all the other games. Um, so you double, if you double tap to run, your character will run a set length from point A to point B and that will be a 10 frame run. However, if you hold the button, your character will, uh, sorry, hold, hold the, the stick, your character will be running indefinitely. Uh, but there is a, that there are some differences with this. So during the, before the 10 frames are over of the um, double tap run, you can cancel with the button anytime and that way <clears throat> you can uh, use this if your punish requires a, a run timing you will be able to time this with uh, uh, the ten within these 10 frames however if you hold the button then you cannot buff uh, sorry if you hold the stick during the run then you cannot buffer the button uh, within the two frames of recovery that you will have with uh, with the with the health run so if, for example if i was to do run into forward b you would have to wait some frames because if you do it as soon as you release you will get standing b um that's that's pretty much everything on uh, the run so in kof as a uh, any other game pretty much most other games you uh, block by walking back, you block highs and mid attacks, and uh, you crouch block, so down, holding down back, you will block lows. Uh, also, in this game, you cannot be thrown while in uh, block stun, so your opponent will have to time the throws uh, outside of your block stun. So as you may know from uh, other KOF games, in uh, KOF 2002 UM you have uh, four different kind of jumps. So you would have your normal jump that you can execute neutral, up forward and up back. So you would hold up forward or up back. Um, you have uh, a super jump that you execute by going down first. So down, down back or down forward and hold a forward or a back because you cannot super jump neutral so that will look like this uh, then you have a then you have hops hops uh, you can do neutral up forward and uh, up back and you execute them by just tapping up forward or neutral or up back just slightly And then you have hyper ops, which you have to go down, down back, or down forward, and lightly tap uh, up forward or up back. You don't have a neutral hyper op. Now, uh, normal jumps and hops have uh, usually four frames of startup. Some characters have uh, longer ones. Um, and uh, super jump and hyper ops have uh, um, are airborne from uh, the first frame. 
in uh, KOF you have uh, four buttons so you have A, B, C and D which correspond to your light punch is A, light kick is B, strong punch is C and strong kick is D. Now some characters will have close buttons and far buttons and you know jumping and common normals some characters will not so there will be difference in different characters when it comes to the buttons so another thing that is uh, quite unique in KOF is having uh, common normals uh, common normals means that a button that would look like for example key or standing B when coupled with a direction say forward will have a different normal and of course that will have different properties or for example your crouch D your sweep with Q if you do down forward and D will have a different kick so these are usually uh, the first point of combo extension not for every character but for many characters they are and sometimes they're also a way to go into max mode which we will talk about later Another thing that is uh, unique of uh, uh, KOF games is the, the rolls. So you can input a roll with uh, forward and uh, A plus B or backward and A plus B. The rolls are strike invincible from the startup until the recovery, but they are not uh, grab invincible. So they are weak to option selects, especially if used uh, on uh, wake up. An opponent will option select throws on their jumping and will throw you every time. Um, rolls have uh, a set amount of recovery. Different characters have uh, different recovery. Uh, another mechanic of uh, KOF are blowbacks. So C plus D is your blowback. Blowbacks usually are moves with uh, high priority because their uh, hitbox and hurtbox placement uh, designs them as uh, a high priority move. And they usually your way to uh, put pressure on the opponent while not risking much because they're only basically beatable most of the time by invincible moves um, they are pretty much the way for you to um, get in or once again put pressure on the opponent some blowbacks uh, of some characters might have some invincibilities like some of one of the one of the ones that comes to mind is uh, kings standing c plus d they should be low invincible um, they can also be done as a, a cancel from guard, but we're going to talk about that uh, a little bit more uh, later on. So in KOF 2002 UM, you will have a different amount of meter based on the position of your character. So your first character will have a maximum of uh, three meters that they can hold. Your second character will have a maximum of four meters that they can hold and your last character will have a maximum of five meters that they can hold now the characters are the, the position of the characters is called uh, uh, point battery and anchor so your point character is uh, the first one and is the one that uh, usually has good uh, um, what's it called it's, it, it, they have good damage potential without actually needing that much of meter so they can start building it for the next character the second character is kind of midway so they can still build meter for the last for the anchor but they can also uh, do the damage and your anchor is the one that is highly meter dependent and they can dish the most damage so in uh, KOF the meter build uh, w is based around uh, uh, either contact of moves so taking or blocking hits will build the same amount of, uh, of meter 
So if you get hit by your opponent or if you're blocking the, the hits of uh, your opponent, you will build the same amount of meter whether you're being hit or you're blocking. However, when you are hitting, you will build more meter than uh, your opponent does. Um, also, you if you whiff special moves that are non-projectiles, you can also build meter. So you can see here with the uh, Kyo within DP or within his Rekka will build meter. Uh, there are some exceptions to the projectile rule, uh, like Teddy's uh, Power Wave and uh, K-Dash Iron Trigger will build meter. Also, uh, after, uh, after a run, you are able to hyper up and super jump by simply uh, either tapping up forward or holding up forward. So you tap for uh, hyper up and you hold up forward for uh, super jump while you're running. So hyper up, hold, super jump. Okay, when it comes to uh, spending meter in KOF, there's uh, a few ways to do it. So you would, uh, uh, you can use it in many ways, both offensively and uh, defensively. Uh, I'm going to talk uh, uh, to you about uh, um, guard, guard cancel blowbacks, which are basically defensive options to get rid of pressure at the cost of one meter. So when an, uh, when an opponent is attacking you and uh, you're, uh, you block the, their attack, you can cancel by pressing uh, uh, C plus D. And uh, it's uh, fully invincible until the hit. So if somebody comes with a meaty on you and then uses their own invincibility to uh, counter your invincibility, you're still going to get hit. But in general, it will look kind of like this. Oh, again. There you go, and as you can see, it leads to a knockdown, so it's a good option uh, for you to get rid of pressure. Just uh, uh, at some at higher level, you're gonna be careful. You you need to be careful about using this, cause once again, you can get punished either with invincibility or uh, guard point. So another another defensive option that you have is to uh, guard cancel into a roll. Now, differently from uh, normal rolls, uh, guard cancel rolls uh, are fully invincible and they have no recovery. So by the time they are finished, you can block or avoid throws, uh, throws by jumping. So it's a safer way to uh, get out of pressure, but at the same time, uh, KOF can be a very offensive base game. So you may want to save uh, resources uh, for your, you know, offensive phase, but it's an option. So it's up to you how you use it. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, try again. There we go. So as you can see, there's a little flash to uh, show the players that it's a guard cancel blow. Uh, sorry, roll, not uh, not a normal roll, and. It comes with, uh, you know, different properties. It costs one bar as a uh, guard cancel uh, blowbacks. Another thing to mention about uh, blowbacks is that guard cancel blowbacks do less damage than an actual blowback. So I'm gonna try and eat it. As you can see, much more damage as a hit rather than a cancel from uh, uh, blocking. Now, in KOF, of course, you also have your uh, super moves, whatever you want to call them from other games. Uh, usually in KOF, they're called uh, Desperation Moves, Super or Hyper Desperation Move, and uh, Max 2, right? Uh, then you have your Dream Cancels and so other things from other games. Just ignore that. Uh, so, in this game, they messed up. If you go in your skill list, you're going to see DMs are basically your special just ignore this right so for the purpose of uh, understanding each other your normal super or level one right will cost one bar and for kyo it looks like this your uh, hsdm or sdm will cost 
2 boss, and that's your level 2 super. And for Kyo it looks like this. And your uh, max 2, which is like, you know, the, the strongest level of super, level 3 or whatever you want to call it, uh, comes with a, also a requirement of having 30% or less life, as you can see from the screen right now, and uh, a 3 meters cost, unless you do it in max mode, but we're going to talk about that later. And that looks like this. Also in uh, KOF uh, 2002 UM, the life is divided in 10 blocks of 10% each, overall making your 100% life. Uh, and as you can see from the differences between the two bars, the, it usually, uh, well, it starts as a yellow, and then uh, when it reaches 30%, it changes as orange to signal the difference because of the requirement of uh, the max 2. Now, uh, something that is uh, particular of uh, 2002 and uh, 2002 UM, if I remember right, should be the, the games where this started, is the max mode. Now, max mode is activated with B plus C together. You enter this uh, glowing mode where <clears throat> you can uh, use uh, uh, SDMs and HSDMs and Max 2s with uh, one bar less cost. So what does that mean? Uh, you will use, say you have, for example, five bars. I'm gonna show you now, right? You have five bars and you activate, then it goes into four bars, right? As you can see now, and there's a timer going down. Now, the same timer and the same bar can still be used for uh, uh, desperation moves, uh, super desperation moves, and max twos. So, respectively, if I was to show you, you can see it's still at four, despite having used a DM. So it would come, uh, it would use that timer, that bar that you um, stocked as max mode, only for the DM. So it would only come with the. Uh, uh, one bar you're not gonna use an extra bar so you're not gonna use one bar for the max mode and one bar for the DM same with the uh, um, SDM so if I start again as max bars and then I'll swap the uh, bars to normal mode if I go into max mode this is like level one as I was showing you before And if I do the level two, hopefully I get it, right? It's three, it's not two. So you only spend two bars, including the one that you stocked as max mode, instead of uh, two bars plus the max mode. And the same will be for your max two, for your uh, 30%. So we start at max, reduce to normal. We stock on uh, max mode, and it's still three bars. So it costed three bars with the one you stocked, rather than three bars plus the max mode bar. Uh, 